The songs we listen to as teenagers stick with us for life. And as we get older, remembering the old tunes we used to hear in school, and singing along with our friends or maybe even by ourselves in solace, sometimes makes us smile. Such lovely memories. Amuse Crush has made an effort to produce a list of five songs from our adolescence that are still enjoying the height of popularity. These have reached the ears of almost every schoolgoer at the time, maybe not because of their music or lyrics, but rather because of the kind of influence they had on us when they were originally released. They are certain to transport you back to your teenage days. Number 1. We Will Rock You, Queen, 1977. Together with the classic, We Are the Champions, We Will Rock You was released in 1977 and soon became a top 10 song worldwide. Numerous radio stations aired the tracks continuously for a short while after the album's release. A timeless song by Brian May that the Queen for the album News of the World recorded. It was numbered 146 on the Songs of the Century list in 2001, while Rolling Stone ranked it as number 330 of the 500 greatest songs of all time in 2004. The Grammy Hall of Fame honored We Will Rock You in 2009. The song is mostly set in a cappella style, employing solely stomping and clapping as a rhythmic body percussion beat, with the exception of the last 30 seconds, which feature a guitar solo by May. This was used in a Pepsi commercial aired in the UK in 2004. In the advertisement, celebrities costumed as ancient Romans included Brian May, Roger Taylor, Britney Spears, Beyonce, and Pink. This should be sufficient to explain why this music is included. It is a forever youth and teenage anthem. Number 2. Get the Party Started, Pink, 2001. For all the better reasons, this electro boogie is still one of Pinky's most well-known songs. It instantly picks up on the atmosphere of the 2000s. The song, which served as the lead single for Misunderstood, her second album, garnered favorable reviews, became a global hit, peaked at number one in certain countries, and reached the top 10 in many others. It was Pink's most popular song at the time. The catchy melody and upbeat rhythm of this song make it easy for everyone to pay attention. It's also the perfect tune to listen to when you want to remember how much fun you had in high school. After all, you could start any party it switched on when it was first launched in 2001. Number 3, Numb, and also, in the end, Linkin Park, 2003. Numb, the third single from Linkin Park's second studio album Meteora, was made available in 2003. Numb and, in the end, continued to hurt many of the band's fans. Despite the fact that each song in the album was intense, Numb by Linkin Park, one of their most popular and widely praised tracks, topped the Billboard Alternative Songs chart for 12 weeks. In 2003 and 2004, the song spent six weeks at the top of the charts. Numb, following, in the end, became the second song by the group to receive more than 1 billion Spotify streams in 2022. The group and American rapper Jay-Z worked together to remix the song Numb and Call. They won the Grammy for Best Rap and Sung Collaboration for their enormous success. Simply put, even if you are or were not a rock fan, Numb is one of the songs that appealed to all sorts of teenagers at the time. It is not simply a song, it's an emotion. Number 4. Hips Don't Lie, Shakira, 2005. Hips Don't Lie, which was not very teenage-like, became one of those English songs that everyone was familiar with in the 2000s, along with the more recent Waka Waka, which was published in 2010. The second single from Colombian singer-songwriter Shakira's seventh album, Oral Fixation, Vol 2, a reissue, is a Latin pop and reggaeton song. It became a worldwide hit, peaking at number one in 18 nations, including the US Billboard Hot 100, and became Shakira's solo number one single in the US to date. It smashed the records for the fastest selling digital download song in the US and the most radio spins in a single week. The Recording Industry Association of America ultimately awarded the song a quadruple platinum certification, RIAA. One of the best selling singles of all time, the song had garnered an estimated 13 million downloads by 2017. The song was named number 65 
on National Public Radio's list of the best songs written by women in the 21st century in 2018. In a nutshell, this is a song from our adolescent years that we can't avoid listening to. Number 5. Love the Way You Live Rihanna, Eminem, 2010 Even others who weren't huge fans of either Rihanna or Eminem or possibly both were singing along to the song from Eminem's recovery album. Indeed, even the critics admired the tune but had different opinions about the theme's poignancy and realism. The song, which Rihanna sings, is a mid-tempo hip-hop ballad with a pop refrain and is accompanied by guitar, piano, and violin. It is about two loves who refuse to part ways despite being in a risky love-hate relationship. When we are young, we fall prey to unhealthy behaviors and relationships, and occasionally, we even become incredibly perplexed about seemingly insignificant issues. Undoubtedly, many people's playlists included sad music. Love the Way You Lie was rated as one of Eminem's and 2010's finest songs by critics. The song was nominated for five Grammys and gained numerous honors. It is Eminem's best-selling single and spent seven weeks at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States, among other music charts. Which songs did you listen to back in your teenage years? Were any of those mentioned here on your playlist? Comment below and let us know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe never to miss an update by Amuse Crush.